We have signs on the side. Signs that's supposed to show us, uh, show what we have in this specific tank. For example, right now it's diesel, 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 diesel. Then we have, yeah, here is gasoline. There is a third sign as well behind all that, but I'm gonna be starting my day with fixing the truck because, as you guys can see, that one right there, that one is supposed to be sitting right there. But it's not and we have one of those similar situation on the trailer but it's not the above one it's the below one on the trailer so it's no biggie gives a crap if the below one is not functioning it's the above one that is a little bit more important yes oh. the time is 16 minutes past 5 a.m. and it was chilling cold in the truck this morning yeah huh oh. oh, let's do this oh, let's do this uh, oh there's those ones I need those Might need a hammer as well, you never know. It's just a small one, I promise. It's not heavy at all, heavy steel. Um, I need some kind of tool. Pointy tool. Do we have anything of those? I can use that, but I shouldn't. Yep. Okay, now we're back. Now you can see pretty much what I see. I hope at least. So time to... Fix this kind of bullshit. Yep, apparently we need to put one. Spear right there. <laughs> and it came at me like that. It's working. It's not perfect, but it's working. We 
go. So I had a couple of more of this stuff. I need to I'll be able to reuse them if I need to. I know the last one over here, the trailer. Oh. Oh, look at that. Someone have fixed this one. Yeah, somebody have already fixed that one. Well, seems like I'm done now with the pre-trip and whatnot. Let's do this. Uh, normally, uh, this kind of tools we usually leave here at the, shop, at the office. <coughs> and yeah, that's our office and that Volvo right there, silvery one, that's mine. Um. Yeah. <coughs> Let's do this. And yeah, right now you can actually see one of my new tools, um, and you saw it right outside. This is my. One of the stuff I got yesterday, actually. The jaw. Uh, this was the thing that I used to put you up in the truck uh, first. And I also have this, the frame, which makes it possible for me to have it mounted at all time here in the windshield and I can just take out the camera and put it in when I when I shot over there also I have um, yeah you can see this case as well um, I also have a battery pack, 13,000 milliamps, uh, uh, milliamp hours, which gives me around 10 plus of the stock GoPro battery. This is like 10 of the stock batteries to the GoPro. So what I can do with that is just, oh, let's see, I can just take this cable, plug it in right, where is it, right there, just plug it in right there, put the camera in the frame, plug it in, this one to the camera directly, and boom, we have battery capacity like 10 batteries. Which is, if you ask me, which you didn't, but it's freaking awesome. 10 batteries right here cost me around twice as much as 
well it it costs like 1.5 times more than a normal battery one of the stock batteries so yeah good price on that plus I can recharge my phone I can use it for tablets everything that's run on USB and it have a light And now, I'm gonna go and pick my cargo. See you on the road. Okay, good morning once again. Uh, as you saw, I, uh, earlier I was fixing a little bit on the truck. Time was around five at that time. Time is almost an hour later now. It's actually a little bit more than one hour later. Basically, what am I gonna do today? You might wonder. Well, first of all, we're gonna deliver this cargo. Then we have a second load. We're gonna deliver that as well. Then we don't have any more for today. Then it's all up to tomorrow, till tomorrow. Um, so yeah. see now uh, what do we have that's going to be a, it's quite a long trip it's not the farthest forest one but we're going up to Lixle and after that we're going down back to the depot because Everything I have on the trailer, everything I have on the truck is going uh, to Luxla. Everything I have going there. And <laughs> after the depot, we are going to uh, back to the. Well, after I'm back on the depot, we're going to Hornefors, which is like. 40 minutes down uh, south of Umeå uh, down the E4 so we're gonna go and do that and then it's another day tomorrow new adventures and whatnot We're gonna be testing a little bit on the new equipment that I have for the GoPro, which is, uh, for example, this Jaws, as it's called. Uh, it's a jaw clamp. Uh, hopefully, it's gonna be working real good to have that. And uh, now with the battery pack I do have, you can see it because it's right between the cameras. It's right between them. But I already have the cable, USB cable plugged into the GoPro. So whenever I need to power it up, uh, recharge it, I can just plug in the power bank portable uh, charger and good to go and it's like I would guess it's like five uh, times the battery capacity in that one right now than there is in a fully charged GoPro battery that is awesome 
Um, it's on 13,000 milliamps. And so it's like, it's 10 plus the capacity of a GoPro, a, a standard GoPro battery, which is just awesome. And it's cheap, it's really cheap. If you're living in Sweden, <coughs> I don't know if this store is in other any other country, but if you're living in Sweden, go to Netonet and buy one of these power supplies. They are awesome. I can assure you that. Uh, and this specific one is uh, Anderson. I don't know what type of brand it is, but it seems to be uh, they make anything. They also do have a action camera but you know it it is a cheaper brand so it <laughs> I don't know how their quality is I know that their TVs are quite good their monitors are quite good and this battery pack seems to be quite robust it's this is not cheap plastic all over the place and whatnot it this is feels durable so it's gonna be quite good to see what we can do with that <coughs> yeah anywho I will see you guys later on the road so let's just follow me now down this road. See you guys later. So I'm I'm around 10 minutes away from uh, from the station where I'm supposed to drop everything I have on the truck, everything I have on the trailer, which is a lot. I've been cutting down a little bit from what the planning wants me wanted me to have to this station. But there might be a risk that I have been cutting down too little. Now I should have, might have been cutting down a little bit more. Because this station is tricky, depending on what day on the week and whatnot. You know, it, it can differ a lot. And especially also which time of the day you are delivering over here. Yeah, right now I'm, I'm starting to be a little unsure if everything gonna get down or if I do need to do a manual order on the way back to another station so yeah we'll see hopefully all goes well but I don't know right now I'm starting to be a little bit unsure I've been watching my note here with uh, whoops get on the right side uh, you know I've been watching my notes what I supposed to take and my planning how to drop it and whatnot, and yeah, as I said, I'm starting to be a little bit unsure 
if everything were actually gonna get down on the station, well, the gasoline shouldn't be a problem because they wanted me to take 28,000 liters, which I do have of the regular gasoline, the 99, 95 octane gasoline. I don't know what it's called, please leave in the comment down below if you know what uh, it's called in uh, most other countries. Uh, and I also have a little bit of 98 octane, which is uh, like super premium or whatnot, I don't know. Please leave that also in the comments if you know what, for example, if you're American or you know what America calls it, please leave it in the comments down below. Uh, and it should go down. It's 90, the 98 octane gasoline it's pretty much always a little bit, it's never filling up maximum amount because uh, almost nobody is driving, uh, driving with that kind of fuel anymore. Uh, mostly, the only cars that drive on the 98 octane is old cars, like old Americans from, uh, I don't know, the 80s, or and, and older, you know, all cars from the 80s and older might drive on the 98. Uh, and cars that do doesn't have injectors, electronic injectors. Yes, my GPS is warning me for that speed camera. But the diesel, however, that's the tricky one. Is everything gonna fit? They wanted me to take 22,000 liters of diesel. The station, the computer told me that the station would fit 25,000 liters. And I did cut down on the diesel with uh, 1,000 liters. So I only have 21,000 liters of diesel. You know, just to be sure, because this station, as I said, this specific, uh, this station that I'm going to in Lixlet is tricky. Sometimes it's selling you the right information when you check it and do a check up on your computer in the truck, but sometimes it's pretty much lying for you. It's like, oh, we can take 25,000 liters, but in, in fact, you can only take, uh, normally, you would take uh, 20, if it's say 20. 5,000 liters and you want to be sure that you can fit it down you would take 22 or 23,000 liters but this station can lie for you uh, from time to time and you need to be sure with this truck at least right now you need to be sure that you can get everything you want to get down in on the house on the station uh, because the computer system is not working properly, uh, properly. Uh, uh, yeah. So, as I was saying, you want to be taking around, as I said, twenty-five thousand liters. You want to take around twenty-one or twenty thousand liters. In other words, you want to cut down from what the station tells you four to five thousand liters from time to time to be really sure that you might get it down. 
Anywho, I'm gonna stop this video here for a moment till I get to the station. Until after I'm leaving the station, I'm gonna let the GoPro recharge as much as possible. The battery pack that I got for it, uh, or for anything that I want to recharge, uh, it's working perfectly. It's <laughs> it's just awesome to actually have it. I could plug it into the cigarette. Cont uh, cigarette plug and record, uh, you know, plug it directly into the camera. But uh, you know, I want to have I have the GPS in one cig uh, cigarette plug, and I want to be able to have my phone on a another one. <coughs> uh, yeah, I'll see you guys later. Second cargo, my last for today. So uh, I have a drive time on. It's gonna be around 40 minutes, I think. Let's see, just cause. Let's see what the GPS is telling me. Actually, um, uh, oh, there we have a red light, a green light. <coughs> yeah, yep, yep, yep. So I'm gonna go and do this. I'm gonna drop some fuel. Oh, I wonder why. Can I drop anything else, like milk? No. I only have gasoline. Oh, that's it. No, not just gasoline. I have diesel as well, but, you know. Fuel. I have fuel for cars and trucks. Motorcycles. Snowmobiles. Boats. Exactly, I would, and I will. Uh, so yeah, this load is quite heavy. <coughs> I can say that right now. It is actually, I think it's a little bit too heavy. Yeah, it's one, like one ton. To have it almost. Uh, 
that's not good. Uh, I think I have, yeah, I have that, uh, that ton that I'm too heavy in total. I have that on the truck itself. A little bit on the trailer, but not as much. But the biggest uh, weight that is too much uh, is actually on the truck itself. Oh well. Um, I'll see you guys later down the road or maybe I'm even done back on my way back to the depot when I see you next time we'll see we'll see depending on what's happening Anyhow, see you guys later as usual people don't think they can park anywhere once again, that have happened. I think they are allowed to park anywhere they want. Um, that caravan, I mean the RV, <laughs> it's not allowed to stand there. This area, all the way uh, at the pump and even to the caravan, the RVs going there. All that way. All that way, they're not allowed to stand there. But still, they do, because they're stupid. See you guys later. Okay, finally done. For today, with all my loads that I had today. Now it's just tomorrow and it's looking like it's going to be quite a lot tomorrow. Uh, it's going to be quite fun, see? Oh, Jesus, I'm tired. But I'm actually gonna be real hard. I'm actually driving on overtime. Uh-huh. I have like I have like 30 minutes on me to get to uh, the station. Whoopsie daisy. <laughs> Stay on the road. Stay on the right side of the road. There we go. So, yeah, it's a little bit wobbly. Well, that's basically because I have uh, I have the boogie axle up, the help axle. I have it raised, so that's one of the reasons why it's wobbling around it's a little bit unsteady uh, plus I'm empty I have no fuel in any of the tanks and yeah it's not a good idea so what will happen tomorrow well, what it looks like, 
I'm going to be driving a small load in town in Umeå uh, to one station. Then I'm going up north to Skellefteå and I have two stations over there. And that's on my first load. On my second one, I have a truck st diesel station, apparently. Just a truck diesel station on the afternoon. And what I can see, I only need to take, uh, uh, take it on the truck itself. I don't need to fill anything up on the trailer. Nothing on the trailer. On the afternoon uh, delivery. Which is quite nice because if that's the case and if I do have a lot of time still uh, before my day ends I can go to the tire shop, fix the tires that needs to be checked out. I can, uh, you know, refuel, refuel the well, the wipers, whatnot. <laughs> oh, my English words are all over the place. But you know what I mean, you know cleaning the, uh, the windshield. Fill that up, fill up uh, the cooler, uh, water, water level, so it's not too low, because if you do remember, yesterday I had a leak, in a, a major leak, the cooler and cooling system on the engine and uh, there is a risk or actually it is of uh, an air bubble going around in this system right now and or maybe now it's gone but still the water level have been you know been getting lower because of that air bubble that has been going in circle around in the system. Hopefully it's fixed and I can refill that tank a little bit so it's in a good level. Uh, you know, I can check oils, air pressure, whatnot, you know, do maintenance on the truck. If I have enough time, I can even go and clean it. You know, go to the the car wash or the truck wash. Go over there and wash the truck, clean it, sparkling. Okay, maybe not sparkling, but you know, make it look so yeah, that's what it's looking like tomorrow. Um, and I'm also thinking about doing a little bit of a special, a special special. Um, you know that I have a a head mount for my GoPro. So I'm actually thinking about doing a special where everything tomorrow, and I mean everything, is filled with my GoPro. You know, when I'm driving the truck, instead of having it in the windshield right now, like I do have it now, uh, I might have it on the head a shorter time and doing like Euro trucks, you know, 
giving you a point of view. Like in, pretty much like in your truck simulator. Yeah, pretty much like in your truck simulator. Giving you that point of view when you're inside the cabin and driving in first person. I might do that. I did that two days ago, I think. For a short while, showing you the cabin. But now I actually drive that like that for a moment at least in giving you a little like your truck simulator point of view but in real life. We'll see. I will try to have the camera on me, the GoPro camera on me at all time. But as I said, we we need to wait and see what I'm gonna be able to do. So yeah, till then I will see you guys in my next video. And I'm thanking you all that's been watching this far. Awesome. Thumbs up for you guys and girls. Uh, appreciate that you are following and if you're a subscriber, thank you a lot for subscribing to my channel. Give me a thumbs up, a thumbs down. It doesn't matter how you rate this video or any of my videos. Just be honest what you like and dislike. And I can, you know, I can make videos of those results. You know, if it's, if I'm getting all good, thumbs, all thumbs up, that means I'm doing a good job with my YouTube vlogging. If I'm getting all thumbs down, then I know that that episode was a failure and whatnot. Uh, if I'm, uh, you know, whatnot. Please also favorite and uh, share this, my videos and my channels. Give me a comment down below if you have any questions at all. Doesn't matter, no questions are stupid. The only thing that is stupid might be the answer, but no question are stupid. As long it's not like, you know, I don't want to talk about politics or whatnot, those kind of stuff, so uh, some question I might not be able to answer or I not want to talk about, so. But you will notice uh, what I'm able, capable of answering on. Or just say hi, for that matter. Anywho, till my next video, I will see you when I see you. Bye!